Namaste, my name is Haz and I'll be guiding you through this um, Hatha Yoga practice. So let's begin in any comfortable seated position. Close your eyes. Relax your body. And just sink into the feeling of the body, the warmth of the body, the weight of the body. the movement of the body with the natural breath. Just take a moment to deeply connect with the physical body. Take your awareness to the breath as it enters and leaves the body. Relaxing your stomach, allowing the stomach to expand as large as it likes on the inhale and then relax the stomach again and allow it to sink deep towards the spine on the exhale. Move your awareness up towards the area of the chest, remaining with the natural rising and falling of the chest. Allow the chest to expand as large as it likes with the in-breath. And allow the chest to sink down with the out-breath. remaining in the center of the chest, letting go of the past, the future, and being totally in the uncertainty, the void, the infinite possibilities of now the rising and falling of the chest, the breath. Allow the hands to fall by the side spreading the fingers wide. Take a deep breath in, relaxing your shoulders, just moving the arms all the way up. Deep breath, keep breathing in, join the hands together. Exhale, go to the right side, keeping your left sitting bone down and drop your right hand to the earth, your elbow and your forearm follow. Rotate your left shoulder outwards and stretch your left hand towards the sky. Exhale, dropping the left hand onto the right knee. Inhale, raising your right arm up. And exhale, taking the right arm towards the left side. On the next inhale, Swing your right arm behind you, behind the lower back. Plant it down into the ground. Lift the chest up. And exhale, twist, taking your right shoulder back. Pressing your sitting bones into the earth. One more deep inhale, lengthen your spine. And exhale, twist a little bit deeper. On the next inhale, release your left hand and place it behind you to meet the right. Firmly press the knees down into the earth, press both palms down and lift your pubic bone up in the air. Taking a deep breath in, open the chest, lift the chin up, open the throat. Exhale, place the bottom down on the earth. 
clasp your fingers and slowly take your chest down to the earth. Head comes down. On the exhale, forehead touches the ground if it's possible. Lifting the arms high up, pressing the palms together. On the next inhale, come back up. Press both knuckles into the ground, the knuckles of the hands into the ground and lift the chest up. Exhale, release the hands into prayer pose, namaste. Inhale, taking the hands back down to the earth by the sides and relax, exhale. On the next inhale, raising the arms up to the sky. Deep breath in, join the palms together. Press the sitting bones down and lengthen up. Exhale, take the hands to the left hand side. Drop your left hand down, the forearm and the elbow and stretch your right hand to the left side. On the next exhale, Drop your right hand to the left knee and inhale, taking your left arm to the right side. Exhale, come all the way down to the right. And on the next inhale, swing your left arm back behind you and twist. Inhale to lengthen the spine, grow yourself tall. Keep the sitting bones pressed on the ground and exhale, twist your left shoulder behind you, twisting the spine gently, just warming up the spine. One more, inhale, lengthen, exhale, twist. And on the next inhale, release your right hand, place behind you. Exhale. Inhale. Lift the pelvic floor up. Lift the chest. Lift the chin. Open the throat wide. Deep inhalation. Exhale. Placing the bottom down. Interlace the fingers. Clasping the hands. And slowly bring the forehead down to the earth. Relax your eyes, your jaw, your mouth. On the next inhale, slowly lift up, deep breath. As you move, you breathe, so keep breathing in throughout the duration of the movement. Plant the knuckles into the ground. Lift the chin up, expose the throat. And exhale, release the hands into the center. Namaste. Uncrossing the legs, we're going to press the hands down on the ground, coming onto all fours. And just demonstrate in this way for the cat cow, just to warm up the spine a little bit more. Inhale, lift the head and the tailbone up to the sky. Press firmly down on the hands. Exhale, bring the head down and the tailbone down towards each other rounding the spine, inhale, arching the spine, deep breath in, lifting the chest up, exhale, rounding the spine, inhale, arch, exhale, round the spine, Inhale one more time, deep breath in. And exhale, round in the spine. On the next inhale, arching the spine. The next exhale, we come into downward facing dog, coming onto the toes, lift the heels high up. Spread the fingers, press the hands firmly into the earth and then slowly bring the heels down. 
It's the first downward dog of the day, so we're just going to bend one knee at a time, stretching the back of each leg. Try and move in harmony with your breath. Press firmly down on the ground with the hands. You can also twist with the hips. And nod the head like yes to release the neck. Shaking the head like no to release the jaw. Relax your eyes. And then relax the head movement. Inhale, come into a plank position, strong legs. Keep your legs firm, press firmly down on the toes. Your core is active. Press firmly down on the palms. Shoulders over the wrists. Neck is long. Try and keep your balance from the core. Try and be centered in the core. Exhale, bring the knees down, the chest and the chin bottom up and inhale press the thighs the quads firmly into the ground bend the elbows and lift the chest up into Bhujangasana shoulders are coming back often we find our shoulders go up towards the ears we want them down and back lifting the chest as high up as we can and keep the pressure in the quads pressing down into the earth exhale come onto the toes and lift the bottom up, coming into downward facing dog. This time lifting the heels up and then bring them down towards the ground. It doesn't matter if they don't touch as long as you're aiming them down towards the ground. Feet are hip width apart, spreading the fingers wide. We push down on the, towards the ground and try and lengthen your spine, lifting the tailbone up towards the sky. Stay here for five deep breaths. Make it very active. Keep pushing the hands down into the ground. Keep pressing the heels down. Keep lengthening the back. Lifting the tailbone up towards the sky. Taking the shoulders, rolling them back. Exhale. Coming into, sorry, inhale into plank. Exhale, bring the knees, chin and chest down. Keeping the bottom up. Inhale into Bhujangasana, Cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. <laughs> downward facing dog. Get it right. <laughs> and start to walk your feet towards your hands. <laughs> start to walk your feet towards your hands. Join the feet together. The heels can be slightly apart. Inhale, halfway up. Shoulders back, try and keep a flat spine, exhale, fold down. We can place one hand on each elbow and you can micro bend or bend the knees as much as you like. The back should feel quite free and lengthened. So we can bend the knees, especially if the back feels any tension or any engagement. We want to try and lengthen the back, relax the neck, relax the eyes and the jaw. Keep the feet pressing firmly down on the ground. You can also sway a little bit side to side or up and down, back and forward. Just really loosen up, let go. And take your awareness to the crown of the head, 
the thousand petaled lotus of Sahasrara Chakra, the highest point of human evolution, of human consciousness, the top of the head. And now we'll proceed to the next round of sun salutations. We'll do it a bit faster with less instruction. Move in alignment with your breath. On the next exhale, dropping the hands down by the sides, take a deep inhalation, taking the arms all the way up. Join the hands together, look at the thumbs and press the hips forward. As you lean back, exhale, coming down, leaning forward, stomach in, coming all the way down to the earth. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, right foot all the way to the back of the mat. Bring your knee down, top of the right foot down. Inhale. Exhale, coming down. Inhale into plank. Strong core, strong legs. Exhale, knees, chest, chin. Inhale. Cobra, Bhujangasana, shoulders back. Lift the chest. Exhale, downward facing dog. Five breaths. Lengthen your spine. Make the breath as deep and slow as you can. On the next inhale, lifting the right leg up. Exhale, between the hands, dropping the left knee this time, the top of the left foot. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, coming down, join the feet together. Inhale, halfway up, stomach in. Exhale, coming down from the hip flex from the hips, folding down, hinging from the hips. Release the hands down, and then pressing down firmly into the feet. Keep pressing down into the feet, taking the hips forward. Head comes up last. Come all the way up with the arms, join the hands together, look at the thumbs and lean back. Exhale, Samastiti. On the next exhale, release the hands down by the sides. Then deep breath in, keep pressing firmly down on the feet, lifting the crown of the head up. Join the palms together, look at the thumbs as you lean back from the hips. Exhale, folding down, take the tailbone up, press firmly on the feet, coming all the way down to the earth, relax the neck. Inhale, halfway up, shoulders back. And exhale, bending the knees, hands on the ground, take your left foot back this time, knee on the ground. Inhale, rise up. Press into that left hip flexor. Exhale, hands to the ground. Inhale, plank position. Strong core. Exhale, knees, chest and chin. Inhale, rise up, cobra. Shoulders down, away from the ears. Chest lifting up to the sky. Exhale, toes on the ground, downward facing dog. Lengthen your spine and press into the earth. Five deep breaths. On the next inhale, raising your left leg up in the air. Exhale, between the hands, drop your knee down, your right knee down. Inhale, rise up. Keep breathing in and keep exhaling until your hands touch the ground and join the feet together. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, folding down. And inhale, keep breathing in as you rise up, pressing into the ground with the feet. Hips align with the Ankles, shoulders align with the hips, head comes up last. 
keep breathing in until the hands touch above the head. Look at the thumbs and lean back from the hip flexors pressing forward. Exhale, join the hands coming down into Samastiti. And just take a moment, allow your energy to settle. Surya Namaskar, Sun Salutations. Moving the energy around in the body, just allow it to come back into your form. Bending the knees, coming into chair pose, Utkatasana, keeping the feet together, the knees together. We also want to tuck the tailbone in slightly so we're not sticking the bottom out. Like you're sitting on a chair, keeping the thighs as parallel to the ground as possible. Inhale, staying, coming back up. Take a deep breath in, press the hips forward and lean back. Exhale, join the hands together and come back into the center. Bending the knees, jump the feet wider than the mat. Inhale, open the arms wide. Deep breath in. Take the hands all the way back, interlace the fingers. Try and join the palms together if you can. Lifting the chest up on the inhale. Press firmly on the front of the feet and exhale, taking the tailbone up. Just come about halfway down. Keep taking the hands back, the arms back, making the arms straight. Relax the neck. The, the toes and the top of the feet very strong, pressing down into the ground. Inhale, lift up a little bit higher, lift from the chest. Try and keep this back bend. We're going to come down from the hips, hinging from the hips, taking the tailbone up. Try and keep the integrity of the spine as much as possible. And then when it comes time, you can release, relax the neck and try and take the arms up as high up above the head as possible. Relax your eyes, your jaw, your mouth. The feet have to be firm in the ground and you can relax the entire body as long as your foundation is strong in the feet and the legs. The upper body can really relax and loosen up and lengthen. I'm going to stay here for about five more breaths. Make the breath soft, quiet, yet deep. The softer and more subtle the breath, the more calm the mind, the more calm the energy of the body. And pressing firmly on the feet, the front of the feet, the balls of the feet, start to slowly come up. You can micro bend the knees, coming up just halfway, allowing the head to settle. And then inhale when you feel that your head is calm and settled. You can lift the head all the way up. Keep the arms pulling up behind you, interlacing the fingers. And then release the hands into Namaste. Bending the knees and jump the feet just as wide as the mat. Inhale, raising the arms up to the sky. Exhale, we're going to do yogi squat, malasana, bending the knees, slowly coming down, take your time and press the elbows, widening the knees, opening the groin, opening the hips. Try and lift your chest up, don't allow the shoulders to sink or come out of alignment. If you're accustomed to doing crow in your practice, we can come into crow from here and just demonstrate from the side. Dropping the hands down, spreading the fingers wide. We're going to lift the bottom up so it's higher than the shoulders. And we take the knees under 
the armpits or just uh, somewhere above the elbows. Keep your elbows bent and your hands pressing firmly in the ground. Come onto the toes, high onto the toes and place the knees onto the arms, under the armpits. You can try with just one foot, lifting one foot up and then the other when you have your stability. Lifting the head up, looking straight ahead. You can also try and lift the knees up as high as you can to really activate the core. Strengthen the Manipura Chakra, your core. Exhale, slowly coming down. Taking the feet back into the plank position, strong core. Taking a deep breath in. Exhale, knees, chest and chin to the ground, bottom up. Inhale, Bhujangasana, Cobra, rolling the shoulders back. Exhale, downward facing dog. Staying for five breaths, spreading the fingers and lengthening the spine. Feet hip width apart, look at your belly button. This time and bring the stomach in and breathe using the diaphragm. Exhale, you're going to bring the knees down to the ground this time, sitting up into Vajrasana. Preparing for Ustrasana, the camel posture, back bend. I'll just demonstrate from the side. For this first we come up, align the hips with the knees. We'll take it in stages, so the first stage, just placing the hands onto the hips, bring the hips forward, taking the shoulders back. And you can lift the chin up as much as you comfortably can, opening the throat. This Vishuddhi Chakra, the center of our expression, how we express ourselves to the outside world. Keeping that nice and open. And exhale, bring the bottom onto the knees and taking the head down towards the knees, just to counterpose. Inhale, coming back up. You can do that same version of camel, or if you want to go further, we take the right hand onto the right heel, the left hand onto the left heel, pressing the hips forward, trying to really engage these hip flexors and the quads, trying to really lengthen the hip flexors, lengthen the chest and the back, you can lift the chin up if your neck feels good. Otherwise, keep your chin to the chest. And we'll stay here for about five deep breaths. Open the chest, open the shoulders back. And on the next exhale, placing the hands onto the hips, we'll counterpose in downward facing dog. So place your palms down on the ground, toes on the ground, press the heels down and lengthen your spine. We don't have to make it so active this time, just pressing down on the hands and try and relax your neck and relax your spine. Try and relax your breath, allow it to return to its natural rhythm. You can place your awareness on the front of the body, the center of the chest. I'll just come this way. And bring the knees down the chin and the chest down, inhale, Bhujangasana, nice and slowly, lift the chest up, press the thighs down, shoulders back, exhale, downward facing dog,
bend the knees, place them down on the ground, sitting onto the heels. Release the feet, bring the soles of the feet together for Baddha Konasana. Interlace the fingers under the feet, lift the chest up. You can either be in this more diamond position or if you're more flexible and it's more easier for you, you can bring the heels more towards the pubic bone, the pelvis area. Lift the chest up and we start to butterfly the knees just in a downward motion, allow them to spring back up by themselves. Try and keep your posture good. Shoulders back, spine long. And then relax the movement. Inhale, lengthen the spine. We can, we can uh, grab the big toes with the two piece fingers. Bring the elbows towards the knees and start to come down, lengthening the chest, taking the tailbone up slowly coming down just in stages where you feel that edge where the stretch is really taking place there's no need to go beyond that just stay and breathe and gradually the hips the groin will open up otherwise we can come all the way down eventually bring the forehead down to the ground and really relax into the position we'll stay here for about 20 seconds Try and calm down the mind around the area where you feel the most tension, somewhere around the groin, and the thighs and the hips. Just relax the mind and let it release, let it open up naturally, no need to push. The aim is really to be more present in any posture not trying to get anywhere or achieve anything just to be here now in this moment aware of yourself and the body the energy of the body will naturally open up inhale slowly take your time coming back up bring the knees together hands can go on the ground Inhale, open the knees, exhale, bring the knees together. We can spread the right foot out to the right and the left foot to the left for the next forward fold, wide-legged forward fold. Press the knees, the back of the knees down onto the ground if you can. You can also start to move your legs just to loosen up make sure there's no tension or tightness press the sitting bones down into the ground if your pelvis is tilting like this you'd need to place a cushion under the sitting bones something to, to kind of give you a little bit of lift so you can keep your spine lifted without folding when you have your stability inhale raising your arms up to the sky spreading your fingers take your belly button in Try and keep your spine long and we're just going to move from the hips, lifting the tailbone up, the pubic bone back. Try and keep the integrity of your spine, the length in the front of the body and place your hands down just for stability. Inhale, lift up the chest again, lengthen the body, shoulders back. And again, we're going back from the tailbone, the pubic bone, the pelvic area, the hips, hinging from the hips. We can just crawl our hands forward one step at a time. Whether you're here or here, it doesn't matter. As long as you can keep the mind calm, relaxed, breathe into the area of the tension, wherever you feel tension. Just send the breath to that area and relax, remain present. And allow the body to open up naturally. We're going to stay here for about 40 seconds to a minute. 
Allow the breath to be soft, subtle, quiet. Relax your eyes, your mouth, your jaw. Relax your throat and your chest. Relax the stomach, the hips, the groin, the feet. It's more about letting go and surrendering into this moment. Make the breath really soft, quiet, subtle. And on the next inhale, take your time slowly coming up. It's a very relaxing posture, calming for the body. Slowly take your hands back, walk them back. Come up into this upright position. Allow your breath to return to its natural state. and bring the legs together. You can paddle out the knees just to make sure there's no remaining tension in the legs. And we'll finish the sequence with shoulder stand, a little shoulder stand sequence for this. I'll just demonstrate from the sides. We come into the boat position, Navasana, strong core, lifting the legs up. You can also keep a bend in the knees if it's too difficult for you. Then dropping the elbows back behind you. Inhale, lifting the hips up, keeping the legs together, pointing the feet up. It's very important to take your shoulders back and press them into the ground. And we, want, we don't want to compress the neck, so one way to avoid doing that, other than taking the shoulders back and keeping the neck long, is to press the back of the head into the ground, so the back of the head is leading the push into the ground, and this strengthens the neck muscles, the back of the neck as opposed to compressing. And press the shoulders into the ground so that your weight is also on your shoulders. You can lift the hips up. Keeping the elbows almost in line with the hips, not too far out. Staying here for a few moments. Try and relax your breath. Sarvangasana. Sarvan means whole. The entire body is benefiting, being activated, being rejuvenated by this inversion. Just allow the blood to the blood flow to reverse and go towards the heart area. The throat is locked, Jalandara Bandha. Everything is flowing towards the center of the chest. Inhale and widen the legs, spread the legs wide into a wide splits. You can also, if you like, come into things like Padmasana, Lotus from here. And get creative. Otherwise, on the next exhale, undoing your legs and bring the legs down, bring the legs up together. So, on the next exhale, just take the right foot down above the head, keeping the left leg up. Inhale, lifting the right leg back up. Exhale, stretching the left foot down towards the ground. Keep your shoulders going back, the back of the head pressing firmly into the ground. And try and keep your leg in the center line, just above the hips. Don't let it go out too much. On the next inhale, come back up. 
and exhale, halasana. Bring both feet down into plow. Toes touching the earth if they do. Interlace the fingers behind the back. Stretch the arms back. Try and keep the legs straight and the legs together. Press firmly down on the feet. And again, the shoulders are going back. The neck is stretched and press the back of the head into the ground. We strengthen the neck instead of compressing. Try and lift the hips up. Breathe deeply. The throat is being compressed. The area of the thyroid and the parathyroid is getting a nice massage. Halasana meaning plow. Your feet are like the ox pulling the plow and your hands are like the plow mechanism plowing in the earth. So the feet are going away from you, pushing into the ground and your hands are pressing down into the earth, plowing the ground. This next posture is just a little bit more advanced for those who wish to try. We can come into Setu Bandhasana, taking your hands onto your lower back, come back into Sarvangasana, shoulder stand. Everyone can be in this position. But for those who wish to try, have that more that flexibility, you can come into the bridge by taking the feet down, bending the knees, and slowly take your time, dropping the feet down into the ground, pressing the hips down. If you're in shoulder stand otherwise, just drop your hands down and slowly roll out and come into bridge by yourself. Release the hands from the lower back, take them above the shoulders for Chakrasana, the full wheel. Press into the hands, head touches the ground lightly. And if you wish to go into the full posture, stretch your arms, keep your knees in line with your hips, lift the hips up, the pelvic floor up. Spread your fingers wide and lift the chest, roll your shoulders back. Five deep breaths. Try and relax your neck, countering the position in the, of the neck from shoulder stand and plow. And exhale, slowly bring the head lightly to the ground and then chin to the chest. Coming back into the bridge position, lifting the hips up, hands down by the sides. This time, we'll place the hands under the bottom. Bring the bottom down towards the ground on top of the hands. Bring the head towards the knees, the knees towards the head. And inhale, taking the feet all the way back. Bring the heels to the ground, straighten the arms, bring the elbows close to each other. Press firmly on the elbows, open the chest, lift the chin up. If your neck is good, bring the top of the head lightly to the ground. Most of your weight is in your elbows, barely any weight on the top of the head and opening that throat nice and wide. pointing the feet forward. Really breathe deep and feel the opening of the throat. You can take your awareness into the throat and see like a white light beaming from the throat area. <laughs> Taking two more deep breaths in Matsyasana. fish pose. Exhale, bring the chin to the chest and bring the knees towards the chest. We can hug the knees, release the hands, hugging the knees towards you, head towards the knees. Grab the outside of the feet and start to rock into happy baby. Ananda Balasana, or blissful baby. Ananda means bliss. Start to rock side to side on the lower back on the sacrum. 
You can feel how the pressure on each hip changes as you move from side to side. As you move to the left side, the pressure on the right hip starts to dissolve and then totally evaporate. Just be aware of this process. As you move gently side to side, Calming down the body, calming down the mind. Slowing down time, really take your time, move so slowly. Almost like you're letting the weight of the body do the movement by itself. You're just giving a little intention. and then releasing the legs down to the ground. Feet can be as wide as you like. Allow the hands to drop to the earth, palms facing up. Preparing for Shavasana. Final relaxation. Allowing the body to be heavy. Allow it to sink and dissolve deep into the earth. Relax your toes. Relax your toes. And send the wave of relaxation all the way up from the tips of the toes, up through to the ankles, relaxing the ankles and all the way up to the knees, the thighs, the hips, the groin, the pelvis, the entire lower body is sinking into the earth, relaxing. Relax your stomach, your lower back, relax the upper back and the center of the chest, feeling the natural rising and falling, expansion and contraction of the chest. Allow the chest to expand as large as it likes as you let go and relax. Relax your hands from the tips of the fingers to the wrists. Relax your elbows, the biceps and triceps the shoulders, the neck, the throat, the chin, the mouth, the jaw, the cheeks. Relax your nose, your eyes, your temples, the eyebrows, the center of the eyebrows the back of the head, the ears, and the top of the head. Allow the entire body to totally relax.
Start to open and close your hands and rotate the feet. Just gently waking the body back up. Start to deepen the breath. Make it soft, quiet, yet deep. Energizing the body, feeling that energy awakening happening in the body breath by breath. You can stretch your arms above the head, stretch the feet, spread the toes, take a deeper inhalation. And exhale, start to roll towards your right side of the body. Take your to flow towards the right side of the body. The right. Releasing the pressure of the heart. Feeling the heart relaxed. When you feel ready, coming into the ground, Coming up into a comfortable seated position to close out the practice. Sitting in any comfortable position. Joining the hands into Chi Mudra, the thumb and the index finger together. Placing the wrists on top of the knees. Relaxing the shoulders. Relaxing into the feeling of the body, the warmth of the body. Just take a moment to reconnect with the body completely. Noting how you feel in this moment at the physical level, the energetic level, the mental level, any emotions presently in the mind or the body. And wherever you're at in this moment, your past, your shadow, your insecurities that you previously held, any kind of negative self-talk that you previously multiply in the mind, just let it go in this moment and come to a place of total acceptance, allowing, embracing who you are in this moment. Yoga means oneness, union, union of the individual self, the ego, with the ultimate cosmic consciousness, the higher self. So begin by totally allowing and accepting who you are in this moment. No duality, inner oneness. And that will conclude today's Asana practice. My name is Haz. Thank you for joining. Namaste. I wish you a beautiful day. Thank you.